Hello, everyone. It is Chrissy and Tanner from Common Sense Education. Here we are again, and we are here every Tuesday for you to tell you about some new or old cool tools that you might want to use in your classroom. You can always visit us at Common Sense Education because we're always here for you. We're just our faces, our actual faces are here for you on Tuesdays. Right now, Tanner is going to tell us about a tool. Tanner, what's the tool? I'm going to talk to you about Teach Rock today. Um, this is a great website for lessons that connect music history and culture to every school subject you can think of from math Ooh. to social studies to science and beyond. Um, it is a free website. We've graded it for five to 12. They say they are for all grades though. Um, your mileage may vary on that, but this is a really extraordinary tool funded by some people you may, whoa, some people you may know. <laughs> oh, little Stevie. Steve yep, Van Zandt. I can see from, just from the bandana. That's right. Oh, yeah. There we go. There he is. <laughs> soprano star, uh, Bruce Springsteen band member, um, little guy named Bono, Jackson Brown, Marty Scorsese. Um, they came together to form this foundation that is fueling this website. Um, this is a thing I stumbled on a while back. I, you know, I don't know. I, I kind of had middling expectations for this. And then I dug into the content and was just blown away by how great the lessons were. Um, I think there's something for everyone here and the, the lessons themselves dig into kind of the cultural context and political ramifications of music throughout history that um, can really fuel, I think, um, great discussions in the classroom. So you'll see here, they've got a few different ways to navigate their lessons. You can do a quick search here where you can browse all of their lessons by grade, subject, genre of music, the type of activity that students will do, which is really nice here. You know, if you wanna find just a think pair share or some textual analysis. Um, also the various topics connected here and you can see some really interesting things like black history, which would be great for Black History Month or any month, really. LGBTQ plus history, Latin American history, war, technology, social emotional learning, you know, all across the board. They also have a nice little tool here where they highlight some uh, more contemporary artists. And you can then see that artist, a little bio about them, a video, but also see lessons that, you know, you could kind of see as influential or connecting to that person's music or, you know, what they have to say in their music or their cultural background. So it's another way in, I think, for students. Um, you could see a kind of student driven activity where you have a student find someone they're interested in and then explore one of the lessons that are connected to them. Uh, they also have a core track of lessons here that they divide into books. Each of one of these, these are kind of a progression through rock music and each one has a bunch of lessons in there as well as videos. Um, so you can see here, the lessons have you know a, a layout with just about everything you would want in them, including activities, handouts, you know, graphic organizers, um, a lot of background historical information. So even if you as a teacher might not be as familiar with this time period or this particular subject, they really give you a lot to work with. So that's that core lesson. Then they have these. Um, special collections here. So that here's one that focuses on Latin American music um, where they collect a bunch of, of lessons on this subject, exploring different countries and cultures. Um, you, know, you can see here that they have some th that they identify with elementary, even though we were grading it more to five to 12. I would say that's because all of these lessons can be adapted. 
um, to lower grades. I do think they are flexible enough to do that, but we find the reading material and some of the subject matter to be, to often kind of swing into the more mature that would make it a bit challenging, but it's still possible that you could adapt um, each of these lessons to a broad um, uh, grade range. They also have unit plans, another way to kind of, they, so these are really, you know, here you have your, your lesson browse, but then they have these different methods to um, explore and sequence the lessons. The last thing I wanna show you is they have a distance learning section. And this is their distance learning packs. And what these essentially are, are these downloadable kind of slide based, quick and accessible lessons. So this one focuses on synesthesia um, and gets students in a 30 to 60 minute time period drawing um, while they listen to music and sort of understanding this concept. And this could be self-driven. I can also easily see this as a great um, teacher guided lesson. You can just project this and, and show the, the videos um, and walk students through the lesson. Now note, music, you know, features, subjects, content, lyrics, you're gonna wanna preview all of this depending on your grade level. Um, things can get a little hairy, possibly based on your, your student population. Um, but yeah, this is just, I mean, what a resource. Oh, I, let me show you too. Um, you know, in terms of the subjects, they have like great things for math. You know, math educators we, we run into, they're often looking for things. Here's a great resource for math educators to find a different way into math concepts. Um, you know, here's something, the Beatles, Little Richard and Algebra, like, come on, that, how cool is that? Um, pretty exciting And as you stuff. look at those lessons, it, it, does it feel natural enough that it's not a super stretch? Oh, I think, yeah, I think they do. Like we really dug into these and I feel like they connect the content really well to the subject matter. So that doesn't feel like a huge stretch. Um, you know, a lot of these math les lessons will give you a kind of data set that you then work with um, based on Little Richard's concert dates, you know, just wild, <laughs> cool like they clearly have a very inventive content team over at Teach Rock, and um, it's definitely something worth checking out that is a little off the beaten path, I think. And um, also does a great job of just showing, you know, exposing students to a little bit of, of cultural history through the lens of music, I think. Yeah, I could, there are so many things that you could do with a resource like that. And I love music is such a great window into kids' lives, but also a great um, avenue to get them excited about things. So I think that's, and, and yes, in terms of the age, I was thinking about um, Lizzo lyrics. Yeah. Probably not. They're great. <laughs> <laughs> Fair, <laughs> but it could get older kids excited about what they're going to learn. So yeah, for sure. That is really cool. All right. Well, thanks for joining us. Thank you, Tanner. Come see us at common sense education uh look for you know what you need we, we got you we're there for you um and we will see you next tuesday